Let's talk about how to condition a new habit to make it stick. What is up my fellow goal getter? My name is Zach and welcome back to another video. And if this is your first time here and you want the best tips on how to dominate your life, make sure you subscribe because we're getting started right now. So I got a serious question. Have you ever started like a new habit, a new routine, something that you wanted to do and were passionate about doing, but then you fell off a little bit afterwards? What about, uh, have, you, have you ever made a New Year's resolution and not stick with it? Do you know that like over, I think it's like over 90% of New Year's resolutions fail? There's a reason for all this. Uh, and I'm gonna share with you what those reasons are, but I wanna share with you first uh, how I went through this just recently um, with my eating habits. Like I, I, I knew that I was holding myself to a higher standard because I knew that I didn't just eat junk food all the time. This isn't who I am. Uh, I'm not an overweight person walking around with extra flesh on my body, but yet that's what was happening. And it was driving me crazy. And I would stick to like my diet plan, my meal plan that I got from my personal trainer. And I would stick to it for a few days and then I'd fall off. And this was so so frustrating um, to say the least and it made me I, I felt ashamed because I knew I was better than this you know like why am I walking around and, and, and putting in all this work in the gym and sticking to this diet plan for a few days and then I go on a two or three or four or five day binge of eating eating bad you know and why am I walking around looking like this you know I'm better than this you know that was driving me crazy and thank God I finally got my mindset back in the right place and and dialed back in on what I'm about to share with you right now. Real quick, the, the change that we make, the change that we create, uh, conditioning is the way to make sure that it is consistent and long term. We have to condition it in order to make it to make it last, you know? We, we can't just do something once and expect it to stick. But if we condition and do it over and over and over again, then it sticks and success lies in our daily habits. M most of the time, when when something is successful, it's not because of something that you did one time. Uh, it's something that you repeatedly do day in and day out. The result of success lies in your daily habits. So we're gonna talk about how to condition these empowering habits to make them consistent and long term. And before we dive all the way into this, if this is your first time here and or if you if you haven't downloaded the Goal Getter Cheat Sheet yet, I highly encourage you to do so right now. The reason why is because this is a process that I developed that I teach all of my students a step-by-step -step process on how to rise up break free and dominate life. This is going to empower you to make those lasting changes in your life when you follow this simple six step process and you can get it by simply downloading it for free right there. The first step is to imagine the new behavior that we're, we're trying to create or that we just started. Imagine doing it over and over again. There's something really powerful about imagination and I'll tell you what it is. Our brain and our nervous system, it cannot tell the difference between a real or an imagined experience. Just like when, 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 when someone's under hypnosis and they tell them that their, their hand is burning and their body temperature really rises and stuff, because your brain can't tell the difference between a real or an imagined experience. Just like if you were to go running, on a, a jogging on, on a path and a big old grizzly bear jumps out of the bushes and starts yelling at you, your brain and nervous system is gonna pump so much adrenaline through your body and so much blood to your muscles that you're gonna be able to run faster than you've ever ran before. Now let's say that the same experience happened, yet the grizzly bear that jumped out at you is some actor in some costume that isn't gonna kill you, he's just scaring you. You're still, if you believe it's a real bear, you're still going to, your brain and nervous system is still going to soup you up with adrenaline and pump all the blood through your body and you're still gonna book it, <laughs> clear the hell out of there, away from the bear like you've never ran before. And it's, and you, it's not a real bear, you just imagine it. Your brain can't tell the difference between a real and imagined experience. So by visualizing you doing the new 
pattern, the, the, the empowering behavior, the habit that you're trying to make stick by visualizing this day in and day out and, and seeing yourself doing it, it's going to help condition it to make it stick for one and for two and empowers you to actually do it, especially if it's something that you've never done before. Like when I went into a podcast interview my first time, uh, we were going to record it and I was nervous as all get up. I've never done this before. Um, this was frightening. This was, this was new. This was fear of the unknown that was going through me all at the same time. Yet before this podcast interview, the week and a half leading up to it, I visualized over and over and over again how I was how I was going to be confidently answering the questions that I was going to be asked during the interview and how I would give value not just answering the questions confidently but providing value to the people that were listening and I visualized this how it looked and everything because I seen prior interviews of them interviewing other people so I knew how the room looked and how it was going to look on camera and I imagined this over and over and over again now of course when the time came up for the actual interview, most of the questions that I re re rehearsed in my head were never even asked. But the fact that I rehearsed this in my mind, I was able to go in and crush it because I already did it in my mind. I already did it. It's really powerful. I dare you to start using imagination today because you use it whether you know it or not. Anytime that you worry, if you worry about something, if you have a, ch a child and you worry about them if they're going in a car ride somewhere or anything, if you've ever worried before in your life, you used your imagination. It's just not in a productive way. But by visualizing success and the desired result that you want, you're using imagination in a productive way. So if you go to tune a piano, the piano strings, you just don't do it one time and and it's good you know you, you got to come back and condition the strings because the strings are so thick uh, and strong that when you stretch them out if you don't come back a few days later the strength and the thickness of those strings it's going to shrink back down it's going to be out of tune again however if you have someone that knows what they're doing and they come and they stretch out the piano strings and then they come back a few days later and do it again and follow up with it enough while they condition those strings to stay at that length that you want them to so they can sound and get the the the, the sound that you're looking for that is conditioning same thing that we have to do with our pattern with our behaviors if we want something to stick we got to condition it treat it like a piano string and stretch it out to where we want it and do it over and over again until it's going to stick another great tool is to and anytime that you do the actual action and do the actual habit that you're trying to get to stick how can you reward yourself for that anytime that you actually reinforce a habit figure out a way to reward yourself like just like they do with dolphins every time they do a, a trick or a jump through the hoop they give it a they give it a fish so how can you reward yourself for sticking with this you know any pattern that has uh, an emotional emotion tied to it our brain will automatically start seeking out that pleasure again you know it's like oh, if I do this I'm gonna get rewarded for it start thinking of ways that you could do that and any behavior that we do not reinforce over time it dissipates what we don't use becomes weak. It's always there in our, in our neural pathways, but if we don't use it, it becomes weak. Now timing is, timing is everything. Um, you know, if you, if you do something good, but you wait and then say good job or whatever, it's not, it's not effective. Just like when, when coaches, a good coach uh, for a basketball team, if someone makes a good defensive play, the coach automatically will yell out and reinforce the good behavior, great job or something. They don't wait till they, till they come back. It's, it's everything. You've got to catch it in the moment. As soon as you are, are actually doing the new habit that you're trying to reinforce, reward yourself immediately. Timing is everything. And to go back to the dolphin example, um, so the trainers, whenever they're given the dolphin fish for jumping through the hoops, notice that they won't do it every single time. Like they might do it every time for the first few times, but then they'll stop doing it because then the dolphin will become lazy and just kind of jump or whatever to get the fish because it, it's just, it, it's expecting it. But by holding back and by and the dolphin will keep jumping and it, it won't know when it's actually doing it so it'll make it try harder and give more effort each time because there's a chance 
that they might get rewarded. So they might jump one or two or three times and they get rewarded and then they're like, wow. So then they jump again and they might get rewarded and they're like, awesome. But then they jump again and they don't get rewarded. So they're going to keep working harder because they want to get rewarded and they don't know when it's going to happen. So you might want to throw some variables in there and not reward yourself every time after you get started. Definitely do it the first few times, but then, you know, kind of lay off on it and, and do it, all right, I'm gonna do it when I get to this amount, change it up all the time. And then finally, there's there's the jackpot method. Like if, you, if you've seen the dolphin, you know, they, they go through a bunch of jumps and uh, you know, they get a fish and, and then a few times they get another fish and then they go through and then they get like five fish or 10 fish. That's called the jackpot method. You know, they're like, you know, that's putting in their brain that, hey, if I keep giving all my effort and jumping through this hoop, you know, I, this next time I could possibly get five fish or I could get none, but I'm gonna keep trying to do it as hard as I can because I wanna get those five fish. Do the same with you and your patterns, you know? Like one time just splurge on yourself, you know, go all out, and, and but don't do it every single time. And this helps reinforce those habits like no other. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna watch more videos that are gonna help you make these transformations in your life, that are gonna help you reinforce these positive, empowering behaviors, make sure you check out this playlist right there. And if you know anybody that could benefit from hearing this message, uh, please share it with them. You never know what the right message for the right person at the right time, what it could do for them. And I appreciate you greatly. Keep on crushing those goals, rise up, break free, and dominate life. And I will see you next time, my winning friend.